Mark and Pepper, and we're back with the the Primos folding uh, survival or hunting saw. Uh, I got this on Amazon for when I'm hiking. I just wanted to saw. I've never had a flex uh, or a folding saw. I usually just use um, sawzall or sawzall blades and vice grips. But <clears throat> I wanted to get one of these and see what it work, how they work. Um, the picture looks a little different. This looks like hard plastic here. Uh, I've never opened it yet, but it. It's got that Coleman plastic kind of look to it, but it's a locking blade, so let's see. This is my first uh, inspection of it. <clears throat> first thing is we get a pouch, has a, a loop on the back. Um, no Vel yeah, it's Velcro, I guess. Okay, it's Velcro. It's okay, Velcro. <clears throat> and it looks like the pouch has two sections in there, which you can't see but there is I don't know why they have two sections maybe put something else down in the second section I don't know what that shows alright so <clears throat> here's a saw oh it's rubber it's okay it's actually rubberized um, feels kinda good in the hand Kind of, kind of rough there. I think I'll probably powder coat this blade to pull it apart and powder coat it. Um, I don't necessarily care for all green things. I tend to lose them in the woods, so I'll, I'm already set up for red powder coating. Red powder coating, so I'll probably powder coat this red because it's already set up in the shop. But um, it's a flexible blade. It's got offset teeth. That should really just cut through stuff. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I'll cut through stuff. So it's got the offset teeth. I like that. It, it feels pretty good in the hand. I don't think this is supposed to be in there. That's just some kind of stopper. But it's got the thing. It's got the like I said the locking blade, and um, it's kind of hard to push. Has in a lot of spring tension hard. Uh, I guess that's okay. Um, this cord is not paracord. It's just a uh, I don't know yarn. But let's see what we got here. We got, um, let's measure it. We got about 14 inches open or so. We got a, uh, about a 7 inch blade, 6, 6, 7 inch. Depends how you want to look at that with teeth. Uh, blades, you know, about 2 inches. Whole thing's about 2 inches. So, I don't know. I kind of like it. <clears throat> I look forward to trying it this weekend if it's not too raining. Um, and, uh, here that way and closed it's uh eight inches and i haven't weighed it yet but <clears throat> according to the website it's 8.8 .8 ounces i don't really load my pack that much so it doesn't matter um i don't know it looks like i said it looks like a nice saw pretty easy to get in the pack here i don't know what that other other pockets for. I probably put some fire steel or something down in there and uh, take care of it. I didn't see anything on the directions anyway. Yeah, I don't see anything there. Compact folding saw, rubber, good. You can stop this if you want to look at it. I'll put a link below. Um, I don't know, we'll see how it works. I like the way it feels, but like I said, I want to powder coat it just for uh, environmental protection and saw blade. I think that steel, let me check. Yeah, it's steel. Uh, this part up here is steel. Uh, the magnet's not attracting anything out here, so it's probably all just fake down there. Yeah, even the back here is not steel. So, we'll see. Like I said, I'm going to powder coat it. And it's got an offset blade, if you can see. Let's see. There we go. That should really cut through things. And like I said, I got this mostly for just firewood, so... I'll let you guys know how it works. Um, I got an upcoming video. Haven't did it yet, but I'll, I'll tell how everything like the backpack and the solar chargers and the knives and how everything went out and worked out. I'll do that all in one big video. But this is my initial review. I like it. I like the way this feels in my hand. I thought it'd be hard plastic like a Coleman uh, cooler or something. And I like the locking blade so things aren't going to snap back on me when pushing forward or something. 
you know, sawing. I don't want to snap back on my hand. And like I said, it's it's got a flexible blade here. You know, not not very flexible, but enough so it won't snap. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. Like I said, I like the lock on it. It's a very sturdy lock. Hopefully I can pull this apart without destroying it so I can powder coat the blade. We'll see. <laughs> but that's about it. Um, that's all I have to say about this one. I don't have any experience with it yet. So, That's the Primos uh, Compact Folding Saw. I'll put a link below. Alright, this is Duncan Pepper. Please rate, subscribe, have a great day everybody.